slideshows from your iPhoto uh, programs. And the next step is what, what do we do with them? So what I thought is I'd, I'd post a bit of a lesson here in Edmodo today and you can view it the night before class or you can view it during class. Uh, either way, you can ask a few questions tomorrow and I'll be able to answer them real quick if you have some ideas about what you're going to be doing with your slideshow. So let's get started. So what can we do with these slideshows? Well, what we can do is actually export them and that's important because we don't want a whole bunch of people gathering around our computer to view our slideshow. So when we export, uh, there's a button down at the bottom of the iPhoto page and it's pretty straightforward where it is, right there. We get a couple of options after we hit that export button and for starters we'll just keep things small and when I say small they're, they're mobile or medium and I think probably best uh, to pick medium and then we click export even though I picked mobile for some reason. After we export the slideshows, we still need to do something with them. They end up somewhere, but they're not in a format that we can share yet. So I'm going to use iMovie. So I'll open iMovie. And when I open iMovie, I'm going to create a new project. And remember, I'm going to go through all of this with the class. But if you uh, are comfortable getting ahead because you've used some of these tools, then go for it. I'm going to give it a title and, and my title is going to be Mr. D Sample Slideshow and that's just over here. And there's my empty movie folder and it says to start a new project select video or photos and drag them into this area. There's another way to do that and that's to go to the file menu and import movies. When you do that you have to find where your iPhoto slideshow went to. And typically it's in pictures, iPhoto slideshows, and then the title of it is uh, sitting there in that folder. And then you click import. One of the things that you need to do though is to make sure that you're adding it to an event and or you want to create a new event. And so it's kind of like iPhoto where we have these things called events. And I'll talk about that in class too. If you've made an event, then you can add your movie to it and iMovie will import it. So down at the bottom of the screen here, there's, there's my slideshow. And then I'm just dragging that slideshow into my project window, which is up above here. And basically at that point, I'm ready to export and share my project to YouTube. And we have our own iFun YouTube channel that's private for us to use, so we're not broadcasting these and getting a million hits all over the World Wide Web. So that's what we'll go through during class on Friday.